Cerberus FTP server supports RSA, DSA, and elliptical curve keys. There are typically two options for obtaining a digital certificate with private key. One, you can generate your own self-signed certificate using the Cerberus Create Cert button. Two, you can obtain a certificate from a recognized certificate authority, a CA. Which option is more appropriate really depends on your goals. If you want to make sure the client and server connection are securely encrypted, then a self-signed certificate is all you need. Self-signed certificates have the benefit of being easily created through Cerberus and are completely free. If your goal is to make sure that your clients can verify that the server they are connecting to is legitimate and to ensure that the clients do not see any warning messages about being unable to verify the server, then you will need to use a certificate signed by a trusted CA. You will have to contact one of the recognized CAs such as VeriSign, GoDaddy, and request a server certificate. A self-signed certificate is sufficient if you just want to be sure that your connections are securely encrypted. To create a self-signed certificate, click on Configure and select the security page. Then click the Create Cert button. A Create Self-Signed Certificate dialog will appear that asks for the certificate details. The organizational details that you will use will be displayed to the FTP client user when they securely connect to your server. The key type should normally be RSA for maximum client compatibility. The key length value controls how strong the generated keys are and should normally be set to 2048. You can also set how long you would like your certificate to be valid for. The default period is 1,095 days that comes about to about three years. Press the Generate button to create the certificate. A self-signed certificate will be created and Cerberus will be automatically configured to use it. Click Save to close the Server Manager. If no certificate was previously being used, then Cerberus will configure itself immediately to use the new certificates. You may need to restart the FTP server service if you were overriding a previous certificate. And that's the steps to creating a self-signed certificate. In the next video, we'll talk about certificate signing requests for a CA. For more videos and how to, check out our website at www.serversftp.com. Thanks.